Baptism, as it's been described uh, by some, this isn't a direct biblical um, translation, but it's the consummation of the relationship that we enter into with God through faith in Jesus Christ. And just as in a marriage, it would be silly to get married and not to consummate your marriage relationship. So it could be a little uh, naive and even silly to enter into faith with God, but not follow in the step of baptism, which he commands us to do. And this morning, we have the privilege of uh, watching the baptism of Jan Hunnius. Jan, could you go ahead and come forward? Um, Jan has been with Rooftop for a number of years here, and she called me several weeks ago and said, Jeremy, I would love to get baptized. So if you guys can give Jan a warm welcome <laughs> as she comes. All right, so often you'll see someone get up and kind of do their uh, monologue, but uh, Jan thought a little Q&A would work a little bit better for her. and We aim to please here. So, um, so Jan, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Oh, oh let me get a microphone. Very, very important. I probably will need that. Hello, I'm Jan. My name is Jan Hanias. I was born in Eugene, Oregon, but was raised and have lived here in St. Louis my whole life. I have been married 46 years to my husband, Sonny. I am the mother of two grown sons, one of whom lives in Fenton and the other lives in Canton, Georgia. I have attended Rooftop now for almost a year and a half. And I am up here this morning because I want to be baptized. Wonderful. Now, Jan, how did you come to believe in Jesus Christ? I grew up going to church on and off where I was first exposed to God and Christianity. In seventh or eighth grade, I began reading the Bible for myself, but struggled to understand and comprehend it. Sadly, uh, this was never encouraged in my home. Early in my marriage, I had some communication and confidence struggles and eventually had a breakdown. And a doctor encouraged me to develop my spiritual life. Recently in my life, something clicked and I made a decision to pursue God and his will as best as I understood it. My medications were causing me some problems and as I stopped taking all the meds, my awareness of God increased and my ability to understand and believe in his presence in my life. I have since placed my faith in Jesus Christ about three or four years ago and have accepted forgiveness for my sins. I have recently joined the fourth floor and during that conversation said I wanted and needed to be baptized, and here I am. Wonderful. All right, Jan, can you describe the difference in your life now that you have placed your faith in Christ and decided to follow him? What are some of the key points? Uh, my mental health it has improved dramatically, but it seems every day I see something special from God, like he's speaking to me. Like so many who are born again, I have a wonderful peace in my heart about myself, my life, and God's promise to take care of me. I have been making a real effort to live like Jesus and the way that he wants me to live. Very good. You are welcome. All right, let's pray for Jan. Father, we thank you for this opportunity to, um, to join our sister uh, as she takes the walk up those steps and then down the steps into the water and in obedience and out of an overflow of what you have been doing so clearly and distinctly in her life these last several years. Watch her, through obedience, uh, submit herself to uh, water baptism. Uh, we thank you for just the perseverance and the patience that you have shown and that she has shown over many years 
We thank you for 46 years of marriage and what a testimony that is. Uh, and we pray for Jan with the years of her marriage, with the years of her life, with the years that you are giving to her now that are a new gift, which I know she feels and, and, and receives as one, that you would just give her the power and the wisdom to, to live the life and to be the woman uh, that you desire her to be. May she reflect Jesus as she continues to take chances and to take steps of faith and to lay herself out there in obedience to you. We pray that today and this baptism um, would just be really significant and powerful in her life. And we are honored to, to share this with her. In Jesus' name, amen. the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. There you go. Anybody take a shower this morning? Phil, you normally take showers in the morning? Why do you take showers in the morning? What's that? Too tired. Too tired at night? All right. Anybody take a shower last night? Yeah, Sean, take a shower last night? Do you normally take showers in the night? Uh, why? <laughs> like to go to bed clean. Anybody else like to go to bed clean? Uh, anybody take a shower like sporadically throughout the day? You know, it doesn't really matter. Just whatever. Yeah, Julie, why do you take sporadically? No. Because you're a mom and just trying to fit in. <laughs> Whenever you can, right? I like showering in the morning. I just like that fresh new start to the day. Anybody with me? Let's get the day going here with zest fully clean. Uh, it doesn't really matter when you shower, though, as long as you shower. Right. Just, just so we're all clear. Or bath. Anybody take baths as opposed to showers? No, I know. <laughs> bath, schmath. You guys take baths, though, right? Just take baths? Yeah, okay. Just got to stay clean. I mean, you can't get very far in life if you aren't clean. And that's what we're going to do this morning. We're going to get clean. We're going to baptize some people. In fact, it's actually not mine. Uh, 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 one of our rooftop mothers called me uh, a couple months ago and said her, her son had told her that she wanted to get baptized. And I thought, you know what? That's awesome. That's what we're doing. We're getting clean. We're getting clean in the bath. It works Baptized, can't say shower ties. So, getting baptized this morning. We're going to baptize a couple people, get them ready for heaven, wash them of their sins, scrub them all away. Can't go to heaven dirty, right? Got to get clean. So, I'm going to introduce you to a couple people, let them share their story, and then we'll baptize them. First, starting with Colin Sullivan. Come on, Colin. <laughs> Colin's going to bring the family. You're going to bring the family, aren't you? Yeah. All right. He's got some, some comments. Ready? Okay, he's been practicing. I told Pastor Matt I wanted to be baptized. We talked about what baptism is about. It was about... When you go underwater and you die to sin, and when you come up, you are new in Jesus. I have decided to be baptized because I knew that Jesus was baptized, and I chose to live my life like him. I understand my sins are forgiven. I know that Jesus forgives my sins, all of my sins, my past sins, my present sins, and my future sins. I, and I want everyone to see that I have made this choice to become closer to God forever. Thank you. I like this part. I like this part. There's such nuance here. All my sins, my past sins, my present sins, my future sins. That's cool. So we're going to pray for Colin, and then I'm going to introduce you to somebody else. Let's pray. God, thank you so much for Colin and his simple testimony of faith. 
I thank you of his reminder that all of our sins are forgiven in Jesus Christ. Little ones, big ones, past ones, present ones, future ones. I mean, the, the grace you show us in forgiving future sins that we have not even committed yet. Uh, what love, what grace, what mercy you have on us. Uh, forgiving us things that even have, haven't even happened. But you do love us. You don't want us, anything to keep us from, from spending eternity with you. And I'm excited to be able to spend eternity with Colin. Uh, but not nearly as excited as I'm sure you are to spend eternity with your son, Colin, uh, by the faith that he has in, in the son, Jesus Christ. Pray these things in your name. Amen. Colin, because of your faith in Jesus Christ and your understanding that Jesus died for your sins, all the ones you did commit, are committing, will commit, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Right. Right.